That is bubble algae right there. In order to get rid of this monster algae, if disturbed improperly, can infest the entire tanks. The entire tanks. So stay tuned, watch this green star polyp video and the cleanup of this little frag. This video, as I just came home and noticed something on my green star polyps as they are going to sleep. The corals are doing phenomenal. Every frag is doing absolutely outstanding. This green star polyp is absolutely doing great, especially during the day. However, there is something growing and forming on this polyp. If you could see towards the center, right there, that is bubble algae, right there. Bubble algae. So in this video, we are going to get rid of it. We're gonna go on the journey together in order to get rid of this monster algae, which is very easily, if disturbed improperly, can infest the entire tank. So you wanna definitely be careful when removing this stuff as well as we're gonna go ahead and treat this frag of little baby coral so we can kill any existing algae on it as well. So stay tuned, watch this green star polyp video and the cleanup of this little frag. Now this green star polyp frag also is the newest addition to this little coral tank. As you've seen, we do have a playlist on these guys and we do have other green star polyp frags, but this one in particular was recently purchased to add to this coral tank. And we did not know that it had this whatsoever. Okay, so I went ahead and I removed the green star polyp. And as you can see right in the middle, there are the bubble algae. Now these little green spores can actually live in harsh conditions. So what we're gonna do, being that our water parameters are absolutely outstanding in that tank, I have two different cups of water right here. One, which is a 50-50 mixture of hydrogen peroxide and salt water from the tank it was originally in, and just regular salt water if we need it. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually going to pull some of those bubbles off, as you can see them right in there, except we're definitely gonna have to be careful not to rupture them and try to pull them off safely so they don't spread too much but that's why we have the peroxide so we can go ahead and dip this in after and kill any algae spores that could possibly be free floating on this frag. Okay, now that we've actually removed, I mean 99.9% .9 of all the bubble algae, I mean some of them kind of flung off and some other pieces just actually popped, so this is a great time now that we've removed pretty much every piece of skin and, you know, any any part of that bubble algae is, you know, pretty much eliminated from this now. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna dip this and clean this sucker up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse right now just to get any of that algae off. Next, we will be dipping this little frag into the 50-50 of hydrogen peroxide, any existing salt water from the tank that this came from. Oh, that's the regular salt water now, which was in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in the proper cup right now and let's do a time lapse on that. Alrighty, as 60 seconds is up, let's go ahead and remove this. Take the frag out. Now we're gonna go ahead and give this a little rinse with that salt water. Just to go ahead and get any of the little excess of the peroxide off, which, you know, we did dilute it with water, so it's more of a gentle solution, it's not straight peroxide. And that's only, you know, I typically would do it for about a minute, do a minute and a half, that was only 60 seconds, because this isn't a severe case. I think there was only maybe like eight eight little bubble pieces on there. So we pretty much got it off just with that. So let's go ahead and put it back in the tank. This was a very simple procedure, if you will. And we're gonna go ahead and put it back in the tank and then we'll show shots of it after when it's fully opened up, which will probably take 24 hours. So the next time you see this little coral frag, it is algae free, thank goodness. And there are snails in that tank too. So there's actually a, a good amount of snails. I think we have about six. So they do a good job of keeping that clean, but I think that was definitely at high risk of infesting because it was growing fast. I noticed it. We've had this coral frag for about two weeks now, maybe three, and I've noticed maybe one or two pieces on there. I'm like, oh, let me see if the snails will eat it off, but apparently they did not. 
So I didn't want it to infest this entire coral frag and also, you know, put my tank at jeopardy as well because once you have that mess, I know, not for a fact, but I've seen enough people with those problems that I know that you're in trouble. So it's a pain in the neck to have to deal with that. So it's like ick for corals, goodness. So let's go ahead and put this back in the tank and then we'll go ahead and check when it's fully opened up. Okay, so the lights have turned on. This is the next morning. You can see how white, how clean. They are almost about to come out. So it still needs about 24 hours more until this green star polyp is fully out after dipping this frag. You can see the peroxide did an amazing job at cleaning up all that green algae as well as killing all the bubble algae, which of course was our main goal in this video. Stay tuned for 24 hours after this. And there you have it. 48 hours later, perfect out and about in a sprout. These green star polyps, love how clean they are now. And that's it, that about sums it up. This was one of the fastest green star polyp vlogs that we've done in a while on how to care and like this video if this helped you out. Subscribe to this channel for more aquatic, animal, and fish adventures. And as always, stay adventurous. A1A Adventure. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to check out our entire playlist we have on how to care for these green star polyps.